really, really important. Why is it important? Well, it's not just important if you have PCOS. It's important for everything. All diseases, all degeneration, all unpleasantness, all health challenges can be backtracked and should be backtracked to the triangle of disease and especially the foundation of the triangle of disease, which is the digestive system and the blood sugar system. So if you got PCOS, Cynthia, you want to be focusing number one on your blood sugar and forget what the doctor told you about not ha about having or not having your diabetes under control. If you're on high blood pressure medications, it isn't being controlled, period. Because high blood pressure is a classic, classic manifestation of dysglycemia, of messed up blood sugar. So for PCOS, you've got to control blood sugar first. How do you do that? Well, first thing you do is stop eating the sugar. And that means bread and pasta and, and anything that breaks down to sugar. And you don't have to necessarily have zero tolerance. You can also just wean yourself down to lower levels of sugar and eat more protein and eat more veggies and eat more good fats. Make sure your body's processing fats. Use the sweeties from Longevity. And in addition to biotin, which is one of the B vitamins, use the entire B complex of vitamins, B1, B2. B3, B5, B6, B12, folic acid, in addition to making sure you're getting enough biotin. Where do you get all those wonderful B vitamins? You're beyond tangy tangerine. Cynthia, if you're not sipping on that BTT all day long, start. The second thing you want to do is make sure you're processing your fats correctly. We're going to talk about that a lot tomorrow because fat processing, fat malabsorption, and fat digestion, and fat intake is a very important, uh, plays a very important role when it comes to inflammation and anti-inflammation via prostaglandins, which we'll talk about tomorrow. So make sure you're on your ultimate EFAs, and make sure you're digesting and processing your fats. Use your ultimate enzymes and apple cider vinegar after all your meals. Apple cider vinegar, by the way, on its own, has wonderful anti-dysglycemia properties, can help protect you from diabetes. In addition to the sweeties, you also want to make sure you're using your Beyond OsteoFX, which will get you magnesium, which is also important for controlling blood sugar. And then last but most certainly not least, get on the BioLumen Nightly Essence, Cynthia. Three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night. That will help you process your fats. It will help improve digestive health as well. And you might want to consider the, uh, the Jordan Rubin Beyond Organic products and even this, doing a swear of the fast periodically once a month or maybe once every few weeks or so. We talked about the swear of the three-day cleanse. Um, I call it the fast, but it's a three-day cleanse. It's a three-day fast. We talked about that yesterday on our phone call, our weekly phone call. Uh, if you're interested in joining us in on our weekly phone calls, we do them every Sunday at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, dial in number 605-562-3140, participant access code 444-973-POUND. So to get that hair growing back, make sure you're using your Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, correcting digestive, uh, digestive health issues. You may want to throw in a little zinc, 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate can be helpful for PCOS and also helpful for all hormonal health issues, especially if they involve hair loss. Thanks for writing, Cynthia. Appreciate it. Our number today is 855 660 4261. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Let's go off to uh, Tampa and welcome Stan to The Bright Side. What is up, Stan? Good morning. Hey, Ben. How's it going? Doing good, bro. What's cooking? How can we help All you? All right. So um, a couple weeks ago, my mother had contracted hives. Okay. And uh, so for a couple weeks, I was help treating her. And around the second week, um, it got bad enough to where her skin started hardening from her neck, around her neck, a ring around her neck, and down her arms. She had hives for two Hang on just a minute, Stan. She had hives for two weeks? Uh-huh. Uh, she's doing something to herself over and over again. Highs are an allergic reaction. That's not supposed to last two weeks. Uh, do you want help with that, or is there anything? Is there, do you well, want to the continue? question is, is that she went and got um, the uh, methylprednisone. Um, yeah. They gave her a shot, yeah. and they, she's uh, starting to take the pills. Yeah. And as I understand, st the steroid, it's a mem uh, hormone mimicker. Well, it's a pretty awful, awful steroid drug. Uh, it mimics cortisol. It mimics, it mimics stress hormone. Under, under, the con under conditions of stress hormone secretion, your immune system shuts down. Why do you suppose that your immune system would be suppressed by steroids, by steroid hormones like cortisol? Not all steroid hormones, but cortisol. Why do you suppose cortisol would, would suppress the immune system? Well, I don't, I don't want to put you on the spot here, Stan, so I'll just answer for you. Is that okay? Or do you know? Yeah. 
yeah, 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 please do. Okay, so cortisol is an emergency hormone. It tells the body there's some kind of emergency or some kind of stressor. Under conditions of emergency, the immune system becomes uh, gratuitous. It becomes unnecessary. It becomes irrelevant. It, because under conditions of emergency, an immune, uh, immune reaction is a long-term reaction. The immune system is a long-term kind of defense system. You don't need it when you have an emergency. So the body will shut down immunity and it will uh, redirect energy into other parts of the body. This is not a good health strategy. You guys, it's not a good idea to shut down your immune system. The only person or group of people who think it's intelligent to shut down the immune system are doctors. Now, I don't want to. I, I don't want to be just beat up on doctors, but I, of all the stupid things they do, and there's a lot of stupid things they do, that's the dumbest. You don't ever want to suppress your immune system. You want to figure out why it's activated. So you get highs, that's a sign of an immune or defensive response. The body's defending itself against something. You go to the doctor and the doctor says, well, let's just shut down the immune system. That seems like a good thing to do. Well, it's not. What you want to do is you want to figure out what has gotten into the body that sparked or triggered this defensive reaction. We call that hives. So hives is a defensive reaction. Intelligence would mandate that you say, well, what's what is the body defending itself against? What's the offending agent? Doctors will mandate, well, let's just shut down the defensive response. So if you want to do the intelligent thing, you don't take prednisone, you don't take methylprednisolone or whatever your steroid drug is, you figure out what's getting into the system. Now the fact is, the fact that your mom uh, has had this reaction for a couple weeks tells me that she's doing the same thing over and over again. By far and away, the largest or the most important contributor to a defensive response like highs is foods, okay? How old's your mom, Stan? About? Uh, 65 range. 65. Okay. So she's got to know she has some kind of digestive health conditions going on. Something is percolating in the digestive tract. She's got to have a history of food allergies. Typically hives at the age of 65 don't just, don't just appear spontaneously. Keep in mind, by the way, if she's on prednisone at long term or a steroid drug in long term, she's running higher risks for all kind of horrible diseases, including shingles, including cancer, including uh, inflammatory uh, health problems, and including digestive health problems because the cortisol will have a suppressant effect on the digestive system. So hang tight because I'll tell you exactly what to do here via nutrition uh, nutrition as well as, uh, as well as food strategies. So don't go away, Stan. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 855-660-4261 is our number. We're coming back after this. Ted Anderson telling you about Jordan Rubin's Beyond Organic Green-Fed Raw Cheddar Artesian Cheese featuring whole milk created through ancient dairy breeding. Unpasteurized, untreated whole milk on the same farm the cows graze. Containing natural sources of omega-3s, CLA protein, calcium, probiotics, and enzymes. I have never tasted cheese this good, and you need to try it. Contact your Longevity distributor or call 877-878-4203 or go to GCNteam.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, in Improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone at 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. 
healthy elimination is essential to high energy, a cheerful mood, and prevention of disease. Some of the founders of our modern holistic health thinking state that disease begins in a toxic colon. A toxic intestinal tract is the foundation for virtually all degenerative disease, and a clean and well-moving intestinal tract is the foundation of health. I just want to say that you folks have an amazing product. I've taken whey protein products for years, and I've never noticed the results I have with your product. I've suffered with bouts of constipation most of my life. Within a few days of taking one world whey, I noticed a dramatic change. Also, in the past few years, I've experienced symptoms associated with diabetes. I feel horrible when I've had too much sugar, and I've been getting the foot pain as well. But I've noticed in the past week or so, I'm not feeling bad anymore, and the foot pain is gone. I'm just finishing up a five-pound tub I ordered and just got off the phone ordering more. I love your product. Thank you. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, Now, just imagine there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercials. Just like the one you're listening to right now. No other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us at advertise at GCNlive.com. And an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. GCN, proudly sponsored by UnseenNow.com. Find out how to stop Big Brother and his tracks at UnseenNow.com. This is GCN. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 855-660-4261 is our number. Stan, let's uh, let's go quickly here. I want to get to a couple more calls. Stan, are you there? Yeah, if I may lay some groundwork real quick for you, Ben, because I, I want to make this time valuable for us and your listeners because, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, misinformation out there. So sure. if I may, she's never had this before. Okay. Um, and... Um, the I, I treated it for two weeks naturally, um, you know, with all the stuff I read. I did my due diligence, read about the three types, the normal, the acute, and the chronic, and other types of uh, hives. hives. And so I was treating her, and after the second week, um, you know, she was influenced to go ahead and go to see a, a doctor in urgent care, and they gave her a shot right away, and the pills, and the today hives she went away. Did, the pills. Did the hives go away when they gave her the shot? Um, the hives are still there. She still has some itching, but she's doing the, you know, treating. So this is only day two, day one of the pill. She's only taken two today, and then she took the shot yesterday. I told her to wait. They told her to take it right away, and I said, no, let's wait, see how this shot does, because you don't want, from what I read, you don't want to keep taking these steroids. And I'm totally opposed. I'm, um, I'm a naturopath. You shouldn't need them. Myself. You don't need them, bro. You don't need them. Hives are an allergic reaction. Allergic reaction is a defensive response. Defensive response requires requires finding out what the offending agent is. The offending agent is can only be one of uh, can only, the offending the route of the offending agent into the body can only be one of three through the skin, through the nose, through the mouth. Unless she's an IV drug user, it's not going to be through the skin. Now, if she has a topical reaction, she could use a laundry detergent or or something called a contact uh, reaction or contact dermatitis. That happens, but it's unusual. Uh, it could also she could be breathing something in mold or or some kind of uh, allergen that happens. But again, if she doesn't have any respiratory symptoms. That's that's unlikely. So that really leaves only one place. Now, at the age of 65, chances are that this one place is where her offending agent is, is coming into the body through it. It happens to all of us. Our digestive systems start to break down over time, especially if we don't know what we're doing, and most of us don't. So chances are really good she ate something. All right. Now, if she's had it for, if she's had it for two weeks, she's probably consistently eating something. That's I think probably she's something. eating tilapia a lot, man. She eats well, a lot of tilapia. Well, hang on, Stan. Stan, my friend, let me finish, okay? We don't, know what, we don't know what it is. We can guess. You know, that's great, and it's, you know, if you don't have any other choices, you can guess. But it's much better to try to figure it out by doing what we call the elimination diet. That's where you stop eating for a day, 
and she's going to feel better right away once she stops eating. She has to. She obviously can't stop eating forever, so she reintroduces foods one at a time, starting with her favorite foods. That's how you do the elimination diet, you guys. Not just for Stan, but for everybody. You stop eating for a day, and then you reintroduce foods, and you start with your favorite foods, and it helps if you only select one type of food so you can see what's causing it. Which is, what's going to happen is, is when she eats a food that's causing the reaction, all of a sudden she's going to start to get, uh, her symptoms are going to come back. She's going to itch, she's going to have the hives back, bingo, she'll know what it is. Now, simultaneous with the elimination diet, it's important that she starts to focus on digestive health. If she knows that she has digestive symptoms, she's ahead of the game. If she knows she has gas or bloating or heartburn or loose stools or constipation or any of that, she's ahead of the game. Then all she has to do is link her digestive symptoms to foods and then eliminate those foods. If she doesn't know she has digestive symptoms, look for them. Find them. Guaranteed they're going to be there. At the age of 65, it's next to impossible, unless as I say, 